Hey guys, Jordan with Pain Leather and Tool here. Um, this is kind of a segue from a Instagram video that I did, um, but I had to keep that one under 60 seconds, and I thought that there was enough information here to do a longer video, so that's what I'm doing. I've been meaning to add some content to my YouTube channel for a while as well, so anyway, um, this will be my first video. Um, so this is a tool called a sewing palm. Um, also known as a collar palm, um, just a palm, a hand iron, a palm iron, um, probably had more names than that to be honest. Um, they were primarily used by collar makers, um, maybe even sail makers, people like that. Um, anybody who was pushing large needles through material, um, particularly leather. Um, as you can see, it's made out of steel. Um, it's got kind of this dimply uh, texture on the inside. Um, it's got a hole at the end. Um, basically, it fits into your hand like this. Um, I'll demonstrate how it's used here in just a second. But um, there were English variations that also had a, a diamond-shaped hole on the shaft here. Um, and what that was used for is going over a needle and grabbing it, pulling it out of the leather um, or whatever material. Um, but anyway, I've got a setup here um, with a saddle stitch just to kind of give you an idea of how it would work. Um, it'd be the same concept whether you're using a 12-inch collar needle or where you're, whether you're using a, you know, 2-inch double odd or odd or number one needle. So anyway, um, yeah, if you have this book here, um, if you're into leather tools um, or you want to get into leather tools or whatever, The Dictionary of Leather Working Tools by R.A. Salomon is a fantastic book, um, really nice resource. Um, he did a dictionary of woodworking tools too. Now there's a lot of people um, who are into woodworking who who have those um, have that book just because it's amazing. And this one it doesn't disappoint either. Um, I use it for a lot of different things. Um, sometimes I'll run across a tool that I've never seen before, and usually I can find some mention of it in this book. Um, but anyway, back to the sewing palm. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, they, they've been around for a long time. There were pictures and drawings of this in Diderot's Encyclopedia, um, which was 1700s. I'd have to look at the exact date, but um, if they were on those plates in the encyclopedia, then you can, you know, pretty much be sure that they were, it was around for a while before that. So, you know, probably 1600s, 1500s, who knows? I mean, um, when somebody first invented it but um, anyway so I'll show you kind of how this works so if you're trying to push a needle through leather um, and it's super stiff um, tough leather <clears throat> or maybe your needles a lot bigger than the all that you're using um, also sometimes you might get leather that that has a little bit of raw hide in the middle if it wasn't tanned 100% correctly um, and so there's a lot of different reasons you might have trouble pushing a needle through leather if you're having trouble with it um, that's where something like this can come in handy um, so basically this tool is held um, you know in the hand like this uh, and you would use it just like this you would push the the needle through the leather you would get it to a certain point maybe where um, you couldn't get close enough with the palm and that's when the the tip here comes in handy um, and you can push the needle through the rest of the way usually you can get it um, after that, you can get it out with, with hands or with pliers or something. You know, I don't use these a ton. Um, I just don't ever stitch that much leather that's, that's super tough to where I need it. Most of the time, I, if I'm using um, some smooth jaw pliers like this, and these are probably cheap Chinese pliers, but I wrapped them in leather, and, and they work well. They don't mar up my needles. Um, but anyway, that's, that's basically how it's used. Um, you know, and then sometimes if maybe if you're doing a back stitch, um, and so you've got a couple pieces of uh, thread that are already in a hole, it makes it gets a little bit tighter, which is kind of the idea on a back stitch, right? To lock lock the thread. Um, same kind of thing. You might be having trouble getting that needle through there, but with something like this, you could you could push that needle through. Um, you're not going to mess up your fingers, um, and you can get the the needle all the way through. So there's a lot of different uses for it. Um, they also made leather, you've probably seen them, they're leather sewing palm variations, and basically what it is, it's kind of like a half glove, and it straps on your hand, and it's got a little um, pocket here that's also got some dimples, and so people I've seen use, um, use them on both hands, sometimes if they're sewing a lot of stuff. Those were also used more by sail makers and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a pretty cool little tool. Um, I'm going to be listing one up on my site here before too long, so... 
keep an eye out for that if it's something that you want one of to add to your collection. Um, maybe you run across one and now you'll know what it is and you can maybe pick it up. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, certainly let me know in the comments. Um, on Instagram, um, my account's Pain Leather and Tool. I um, also have a Facebook page and our website is uh, www.painleatherandtool.com. Um, so anyway, I need to probably do a formal introduction video at some point, but I'll let this be the first video. Um, maybe it was interesting. Maybe it was helpful. Um, let me know if there's other tools that you'd like demonstrated, or maybe you don't know what they are. Maybe you've got one. Maybe I've got one. Um, you've seen it, and you wonder what it does. Let me know. I'll be happy to do some more demos. Um, be happy to talk a little bit more about the history of it. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.